Friends, welcome. Let us learn how to manage a hypermature Morganian cataract. An old lady of 72 has come with this kind of cataract and high intraocular pressure. With medication, the pressure has come down to 26 millimeter of mercury and I have taken up this case for surgery. The main incision has been placed. This is a side port on the right side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away. This is another side port on the left side of the main incision about same distance away. And now an air bubble is injected to fill off the anterior chamber. Beneath this air bubble tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule. The dye is applied in such a way that it stains all parts of the anterior capsule. Some amount of adrenaline has been injected and now the dye is washed out using a 23G cannula and BSS. In hypermature Morganian cataracts, we need not do a small rexis first. We can just make a puncture. We can go for a distance and then aspirate the milky fluid. In this case, let us see what happened as I made a puncture on the anterior capsule. To improve visibility, I have applied some visco over the corneal epithelium. And now, as soon as the anticapsule is punctured, milky fluid comes out. And I have taken off the iterator forceps, hold the tag, and go for a distance. But I cannot see well. So I stop here and aspirate the milky fluid the rexis will not run to periphery in hypermature Morganian cataracts because the intralenticular pressure is not high. As soon as the milky fluid has come out, the intralenticular pressure is normal. And we can see a hard brown nucleus so I'm trying to make a little large rexis about 5.5 or 5.75 millimeter in diameter. So I use the iterator again and as I am doing this rexis, I can, I can feel and I can see that the genule is okay in this case. It's not weak. So I need not use a CTR in this case. But if we use a CTR, there is no harm. And now watch bevel down submarine chalk. The tip of the phaco needle goes in, bevel down. It goes through the substance of the nucleus, bevel down. And now I am incising the lens mass over the tip, and here it is. I've got a very nice crack. We cannot get this kind of crack if the tip of the phaco needle is up in this kind of Morganian cataracts because the nucleus is mobile, free floating. You can only engage this way if it is beveled down. Another way is with beveled down make a tunnel and then 
make the bevel up and go through the tunnel. I have some videos like that. In this case, I am doing it bevel down all the fragments. And here, this nucleus, this semi nucleus is not coming inferiorly. So just held it there and here it is. I have made f some about five fragments. So I turn and make the bevel up now because the posterior capsule is bare, it has no cover, no epinuclear cushion. So I want to emulsify the nuclear pieces but I want to keep at least one piece or two pieces and then implant the intraocular lens. At this stage we can implant an intraocular lens behind all these pieces but it is cumbersome. So my plan is to emulsify some fragments make some room and then implant an intraocular lens in the capsular bag and after implanting the caps lens in the capsular bag I will emulsify the rest of the nuclear pieces. This is a hard cataract. Ultrasonic energy used is 80 percent. Flow rate is 40 ml per minute vacuum is 400 millimeter of mercury. Now in this case my plan is to emulsify the piece which is at 9 o'clock. It is in the bag because the rexis is not very large. It is on the smaller side about 5.5 millimeters. So I'm emulsifying this piece and now I come out. I don't want to eat this up because the posterior capsule may be caught anytime though the genule didn't appear weak I'm taking all these precautions. Now my plan is to bring out the nuclear piece which is at 9 o'clock using these two sticks, two Sinske hooks. Just hold it, bring it out and place it like this above the fragment which is there occupying the area 3 o'clock to 5 o'clock inject some more visco and now I'm going to emulsify this piece. This piece is lying over the piece, other piece, so it is safe. We build sideways and this nuclear piece is being emulsified. And now we have enough space. At this time, I thought only this portion of nucleus is there, but we can see this uh, shadow at 7 o'clock. We will see in a short time that there is a large piece behind the iris in the bag in that area. However, we ha have got enough space and I am implanting a hydrophilic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens in the capsular bag below these pieces. The lens, the intraocular lens is thin. It goes in a position with the posterior capsule and lot of space is there in front in the capsular bag 
to emulsify these pieces. Now I am bringing out the piece which was there at 7 o'clock and this is a huge, this is a large nuclear fragment. So you have to emulsify these two large fragments now over the intraocular lens. And here I go again, same FECO power, about 80% ultrasonic energy, 40 flow rate, 400 vacuum, and I start emulsifying the pieces in the back, just over the intraocular lens, and not touching the intraocular lens, far away from the corneal endothelium. Now this is the last nuclear fragment. At this time, I am so much relieved. I don't have any possibility of catching the posterior capsule because the intraocular lens has protected, protected the posterior capsule very well. So whenever you need to protect the posterior capsule 100%, you want 100% protection this is the way. Other instruments like posterior capsule protector and iris spatula or a long chopper, all these instruments provide partial protection but the IOL scaffold protects the posterior capsule 100%, offers 100% protection. Cleaning of the cortex is easy, there is no capsular tension ring, so cleaning of the cortex from the equators, equator of the capsular bag is not difficult. This video is a bit long because it is unedited and you are watching each and every step of the surgery and uh, at every moment I am sharing my thought process. At this time I have gone behind the eye well cleaning the visco. And see how beautifully the intraocular lens is centered. As I said initially, there is uh, the jonular strength is okay in this case. And I am removing all the viscoelastic substance. Using irrigation and aspiration together. and it is very nice. This is a bit of moxifloxacin and now these side ports are closed by hydrating corneal stroma on either side of this paracentesis wounds. You are towards the end of the surgery. So in this case, I have tried bevel down submarine jaw and it has worked very well. But it will not work at the first case. Bevel down job is a bit diff different from bevel up job. You have to do some cases, routine cases, and then you can try in Morgagnian cataracts. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve the mankind with love, respect, empathy, compassion and great surgical competence.